What's going on YouTube, Geothan right here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your WhatsApp conversations and attachments and so on from your iOS device to Android or to another iOS device or from Android to iOS if you prefer so. We're going to use a program called Mobile Transfer Dat. This also supports iOS 26 beta and it's available for both Windows and Mac OS. So let me show you the program in action. So this is Mobile Trans on Mac OS. There is also a Windows version that I'm going to show in a minute and that may look a little bit different compared to the Mac macOS version, but on macOS you have the WhatsApp transfer tab over here, which supports normal WhatsApp, WhatsApp for Business, JB WhatsApp and other applications, which include Line, Kick, Viber and WeChat, but we're interested in WhatsApp transfer in this video, so I'm going to show you how to move all your data from WhatsApp for Business or normal WhatsApp from iPhone to Android. Right here I have connected my source, which is the iPhone 11 that I'm using, and the destination is going to be the Samsung device over here. Now as you can see it says that it can transfer messages, group SMS, start messages, call logs, community messages, photos, audio and voice notes, videos, documents, stickers, animated GIFs and others. So it can basically transfer your entire conversations from WhatsApp or WhatsApp for Business from one device to another. So I'm going to make sure that I have properly set up my source and destination devices so that I don't mix them up and I'm going to press start over here. Now it asks us please confirm whether to keep the existing WhatsApp for Business data on Samsung. Now this is the destination device and I'm not going to keep anything in there and then the process will start. Now you should keep in mind that on Android you have to have developer mode enabled and USB debugging toggled on for this to work. And it says in here it's restoring my device. It may ask you for your iPhone passcode and it may also ask you for the iTunes backup password if you've set one. Anyway as you can see it went to town already checking the application and the attachments and so on. Now depending on how many conversations you have and how many attachments are in those conversations this can take a while because this is getting the data from your WhatsApp application from your iPhone or your source device and this can take a while depending on how many files you have. So be patient and do not disconnect either the source or the destination device. Make sure you keep both devices connected at all times. As you can see it says please enable WhatsApp Business iCloud Sync to backup chat history. So we're going to have to follow all the instructions in here. Once you've done that you press next over here and then we're going to have to turn off end-to-end -end encryption backup on our device. To do that we need to go in WhatsApp on settings on chats and then on chat backup. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so end to end encryption is now off and I'm going to press next over here. And it now asks for my passcode. This is necessary because it will create a backup of the device in order to get your attachments and your chats. And yeah, as you can see, it started finding files, over 500 of them on my device. This will take some time, so give it time and wait patiently. All right, so as you can see, the backup part of the program has finished and it's now installing WhatsApp for business on the target device. That would be the Android device. And we will have to log in into our WhatsApp for business account. So I have done that and now we can press next over here and it will continue doing what it needs to do and that is restoring the data to the device. Now you might be asked to allow a couple of things on the device like access to files and access to contacts and so on. And if this keeps on showing up you just need to finish the setup screen on the device which is going to show you like creating a profile, adding an avatar and so on. So just go through those and enter your WhatsApp pin if you are asked for it. I have done that and I'm going to press next over here and it will continue doing what it needs to do. So as you can see it's now progressing over here. All right so as you can see it says restore data to target device 100%. It says ensure your Android phone stays unlocked. I'm going to click next over here and now it's migrating the data directory. All right so now we get instructed to back up WhatsApp business data on our Samsung device. So I'm going to have to open WhatsApp in this case and follow the instructions on the screen. All right, so I have followed the instructions on my Android device and did a backup and now I'm going to press next over here and yes over here. And if you used Google Drive for the backups, it tells you to disconnect it, but I haven't used it, so I'm going to press this button over here. It says please download and install WhatsApp Business on the device. Now this is because the WhatsApp for Business you've been using on the Android device during the procedure is a modified version, so they deleted it after the procedure was done. And now we have to install the official WhatsApp for Business, but the data will be kept. So that's why we have to do this. The same thing applies for normal WhatsApp. And as you can see, it says in here that we should not log into the account after installing WhatsApp for Business or WhatsApp. I'm going to press installed in here because I have already installed it. And as you can see, it says please rename the WhatsApp for Business directory on your Samsung device. And you're going to have to follow the instructions on the screen. But make sure that you rename the folder to com.whatsapp.w4b. 
Otherwise, it's not going to work. I did that. I'm going to press next over here and it says, please log in to WhatsApp for Business on your Android phone and restore the chat history. So I'm going to do just that. You just have to follow the instructions on the screen. All right. So upon logging into my WhatsApp for Business account, it already found a backup and I was able to restore it. And now I'm going to press OK in here. And yeah, it says 100%. So yes, it says your Samsung SMG990B restored completed. So that's it. That's how you move the data from one device to another. And yeah, checking on my Android device, I do have all the conversations and I do have all the attachments. I'm going to also show you how to recover the view once files and attachments from WhatsApp. All right. So as you can see, I have a couple of messages in here that I have opened. And once you open them, you cannot open them anymore again. So on mobile trans on Windows, in order to recover the view once files, you have to go here to view once recovery. And then of course, you have to have your device connected, then you can go ahead and scan the QR code that is going to show up on the screen. So you have to open WhatsApp and then you have to scan this code in linked devices. And once you link WhatsApp with the computer, as you can see, all the attachments do appear in here. And yeah, you can recover all of them. Even if you already viewed them once, it doesn't matter. All right. So that's how you recover view once attachments from your WhatsApp as well. Now, as you could see, the program is actually quite useful. And that's how you backup WhatsApp, WhatsApp for business, JB WhatsApp, and so on. Now you can also do a full backup of your iOS device if you prefer to do so. And as you can see, the destination is going to be your computer. And you can go ahead and select what you want to backup. For example, only the photos, contacts, text messages, contacts, blacklist and notes and so on. And you can also back up various other things. So let me do a backup real quick for you so that you can see you can actually back up your data pretty quickly. And once you have the backups, you can restore them to your device whenever you want. So yeah, as you can see, my iPhone 11 has been backed up. And if you want to restore those backups, you just go in here to restore and you will be able to find the backups over here. And you just click this button to restore the backups. The same thing with app backups and so on. Don't forget that the Wondershare mobile trans program uses an industry leading transfer method, which is 90% faster than the official transfer method and over 67% faster than competing alternatives. So definitely a great product. So that's essentially how you move your WhatsApp data from one device to another, being it iOS or Android. It's easy and it takes a couple of steps. Yes, but it's definitely possible and you get all your conversations and all your attachments. So thank you for watching. Check out the program down below mobile trans. And as I said, it's compatible with iOS 26 as well. Thank you for watching. I am GS now. Peace out.